Welcome back, everyone. This is our one year and two month update of our ultimate paint protection film longevity test. As usual, we will foam it down, rinse it off, foam it again, wash it, and then we'll inspect the hydrophobic properties, dry it, and then we will inspect everything and see how it's holding up. This hood has been subjected to paint thinner, bugs, eggs, spray paint, markers, mustard, pretty much you name it, we've thrown it at it just to see how everything holds up. These, these films are getting quite tired. Everything's been sitting outside 24 hours a day, seven days a week here behind our shop. The, uh, primary, the primary focus of the reason that this test even exists is for the discoloration. We've had numerous clients that have come through with two or three year old film, and I'm not gonna say what the brands are, but they were extremely discolored. So we wanted to see for ourselves how they compare, see how they hold up. Take a moment to remind you, if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. Smash the like button, comment down below. Hydrophobics, not a single bit of it remains. If you go back and look at some of the other videos, it looks like somewhere around the five to six month mark is where the last of the hydrophobics died. So now we'll go ahead and dry it with our MetroVac Master Blaster eight horsepower heated filtered air dryer. Getting on to inspecting everything. There is a little strip missing from the top of each of them as we cut it off for the one year mark. But you can see Flexi Shield not looking too bad. Lumar also not too bad. Same with Expel. Premium Shield has a little bit of darker discoloration, especially sitting next to Expel and Estec. Estec has just a slight amount as well, 3M, a little bit, and Ceramic Pro a heavy amount of discoloration, almost looks gray. The five Estec pieces in the corner, also doing okay. The Dino Prism, which is the clear one, looks slightly discolored. And Hex's body fence, which is a month behind everything else on this test, looking good as well. Of note, the Ceramic Pro Kavaka, some of the installers are saying, well, maybe it was a B-roll or it was a defective roll. No, it wasn't. It was premium roll, sent to me, ready to go, not B-roll film. to the clarity, meaning the black part of the hood. You can see that Lumar has a, it's, it's always been this way since new. It's just been slightly hazy compared to Premium Shield, or I'm sorry, to Flexi Shield and Expel on sitting on either side of it. Flexi Shield looks clear. Expel still has that slightly orange peely look. Premium Shield, that's where we burned the film on accident there in the middle trying to heal it. But it is a Premium Shield's a very clear film. But again, starting to discolor. s -Tech, very clear looking. 3M, nearly as, as much. And Ceramic Pro has slight orange peel to it. Hexus, not really a fair fight for Hexus because we put black vinyl underneath it, so you have to kind of ignore the orange peel on that, but it is a clear film as well. Don't see any issues there. So there's your update, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. See you soon. Mm -hmm.